G'day there, Lauren Cress here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Cheat Sheets. In this video, we're talking about Bowen's Family Systems Theory, also commonly referred to as FST. Family Systems Theory, developed by Murray Bowen, suggests that families operate as complex, interconnected systems. Within this framework, various roles and concepts describe how family members interact and maintain the family's emotional balance. Here are some of the key roles from family systems theory. 1. The identified patient. This is a family member who is seen as the main problem within the family. Often, this individual's symptoms are a manifestation of the larger family dysfunction. 2. The caretaker or nurturer. This person takes on the role of looking after other family members, often sacrificing their own needs. They provide emotional and sometimes physical support. 3. The hero or overachiever. This individual tries to bring positive attention to the family through their achievements. They often take on responsibilities beyond their age or capacity to compensate for family issues. 4. The scapegoat or black sheep. This family member is blamed for the family's problems. They often act out or rebel, drawing negative attention to themselves as a way to divert attention from the family's underlying issues. 5. The lost child. This person tends to withdraw from the family dynamic, becoming invisible to avoid conflict. They often seek solace in solitary activities and may struggle with forming close relationships. 6. The mascot or clown. This individual uses humour and antics to lighten the mood and distract from the family's problems. They often hide their own pain behind their comedic behaviour. There are also several key concepts in family systems theory that are useful to understand. 1. Differentiation of self. This concept refers to an individual's ability to maintain their sense of self while staying emotionally connected to the family. Higher differentiation means better emotional regulation and less dependency on others' approval. 2. Triangles. A triangle occurs when a conflict between two family members involves a third person to reduce tension. Triangles are the basic building blocks of a family's emotional system. 3. Nuclear family emotional system. This concept describes the patterns of emotional functioning in a single generation family, including marital conflict, dysfunction in one spouse, impairment of one or more children, and emotional distance. 4. Family projection process. This process involves parents transmitting their own emotional problems to their children, often resulting in similar issues in the next generation. 5. Multi-generational transmission process. Patterns of behavioural and emotional functioning are passed down through generations, shaping the way individuals interact with their families. 6. Emotional cutoff. This occurs when family members manage unresolved emotional issues by reducing or cutting off emotional contact with family members. 7. Sibling position. This concept, based on the work of Walter Toman, suggests that sibling position, for example, the oldest, the middle, or the youngest, can predict certain roles and behaviours within the family system. 8. Societal emotional process. This extends family systems theory to societal levels, suggesting that societal stress and anxiety can influence family functioning and vice versa. Understanding these roles and concepts helps therapists and individuals recognise patterns within the family system, and work towards healthier dynamics and better emotional regulation. To learn more about this theory and how it can help you, we've put some useful links to the Family Systems Institute and their resources in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more cheat sheets to refuel your fire. If you're looking for science-based strategies to unlock a healthier, more empowered you, check out the links in the video description.